All right, gang, so this is going to be the third installment of the Get a Damn Job series. So in this series, we just go through various certifications and some of the jobs that you will qualify for or some of the jobs you could apply for once you get these certifications. So in previous episodes, episode one, we covered um, A+. The last episode... We covered Network Plus, and today we'll get into um, a cybersecurity certification um, with Security Plus. So um, security is a hot topic. No matter if you're a huge organization such as Google or a mom and pop shop, security is super important. The user's data, your data, just the security of the network and your devices is extremely important. And that is not only logical stuff, but physical stuff as well. And all that type of stuff is encompassed inside of the Security Plus certification. So it starts from the parking lot. Is there lighting? What type of camera system do they have? Is there a guard there? What type of network is set up? Do they have firewalls? Do they have antivirus? Do they have an IPS? Do they have an IDS? What is their recovery? So on and so forth. So this is important for any organization. Um, and if you just type in security on Indeed, um, Monster, a glass door, uh, any of those uh, job search LinkedIn. Um, if you look up cybersecurity, security analysts, the security jobs in general, as far as IT, um, you're going to come back with a lot of results because it's so important to every organization's bottom line. Um, a security incident can literally cost a company millions or cause the company to shut down, depending on how uh, bad the exploit was. Okay. So with Security Plus, once you gain Security Plus, um, this may be after A plus and Net Plus. It's usually um, after A plus at a minimum. Um, now, some people go ahead and rock out and go directly for um, Security Plus. Um, but most times the natural progression is um, somebody's had um, some other certification wins and they've had build a pretty strong foundation with the fundamental stuff, right? Um, but Security Plus, once you get Security Plus certified, as always, we're going to pop champagne, have a barbecue. Um, your mama going to be proud. I'm going to be proud of you. And the jobs you will qualify for, as always, this is just um, a few suggestions. There's a bunch of other um, certifications, excuse me, a bunch of other positions that you can apply for, but this is just to give you a little bit of a idea of what to look for okay so first up security plus certified the first position that you would qualify for before i get into that if this podcast has helped you in any way shape form or fashion please um, share this podcast with two of your buddies if you are listening to this on youtube make sure you hit a thumbs up subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get notified whenever um, I post anything new. Okay. Um, we really appreciate it. You already know I appreciate you guys support. Um, my goal is to get as many of you guys certified and in the IT field as possible. So first position that you will look for or try to apply to or can apply to security administrator or a security consultant, or a security engineer. So security plus job titles that you will qualify for, could apply for once you get certified, security administrator, security consultant, security engineer. Now, um, before anybody says anything, before anything happens, as always, um, if you were watching on YouTube, if you got a com comment that says, 
Uh, what about experience? What about this? What about that? I know that your ass did not listen to the entire podcast because um, my next statement is exactly that. Understand that the certification can get you in the door. The certification is going to give you higher visibility um, when resume searches, when you're up against other candidates. But understand, most times what's really going to help you in your job search is experience and your network. You know, who you know, um, where you are. Location is another thing. If you are in a part of the United States or a part of the world that's not really a tech hub, that's not really at the forefront of technology, you may have a hard time finding a gig, right? Um, it's people that have experience, a thousand certifications, and are borderline geniuses and can't find a gig because they won't relocate, okay? So sometimes you have to spread your wings to find you know a great opportunity for yourself. All right. And that's one thing that's different about master IT. Um, you know, some places I guarantee, hey, if you get this cert, then you're going to be making one hundred thousand dollars. Now, can you make one hundred thousand dollars? Of course. But if you live in um, the middle of nowhere and y'all barely got damn electricity, you probably aren't going to um, have, you know, a good opportunity to um get a good job there unless you're really a genius and you're going to bring that technology to them. But, you know, unless you're Elon Musk or somebody like that, it's probably not going to happen. But to get back on topic, make sure that you go inside of the Facebook group. Um, that's where you can start your networking journey. Um, find some people that are like minded. Um, hop on LinkedIn. Start connecting with people. Um, but at minimum, um, let me give you some tutelage, some some mentorship uh, and actually help you get these certifications. Uh, as you already know, over at ITMasterKey.com, we got um, a full Security Plus course that's uh, allowing students to knock out the Security Plus certification and change their lives. Um, like I always say, if anything that I've ever done for you has helped you, Make sure that you follow us on Instagram at i.t underscore master. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Share this podcast. Follow us on Twitter at masterittx. Um, and like I said, if you need a course, um, the courses are self-paced. So if you work two jobs, uh, on your lunch break, you can get it in. On your 15-minute break, you can get it in. Uh, you can get it in for 20 minutes before you pass out. Just, you know, you can get certified on your own time. So um, this is, uh, I want to say, episode three. I get a damn job. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed it or if you learned something. And other than that, I'll see you in the next episode. And I'll see you in class.